<laughs> recording in progress. I know. Recording in progress. Relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm getting there. <laughs> This table's too big. I'm sitting at the desk I've got is too big. So it's okay. Uh, you know what I got? I got I got cables all over here. I, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, so when I have the mic on the table, hey. Oh, we can't hear you, Neil. It was trying to connect. It did say yeah. that. we got yeah we had you there for a second no no so the good news is we can see neil can't hear neil we can't hear neil yet so it's a good time to tell you that neil has some kick ass kick ass shit that you have got to hear about seriously eh? it looked good i i ate it i did all. take like, a we, look i took I a look because i knew it was a food thing yeah, so i know yeah. it's food that you yeah. probably like it, which means I'm going to probably like it. So as soon Bloody. as he gets to... It's not going to make it out there. I can tell you. I promise you that. Well, it didn't because I already ate both. <laughs> I looked. I, it's, I, I, looked. I ate both of the Scotch bonnet ones. Already. No, you're still not working now. No. I mean, the bottom... It, it was, I wonder if it's the mic. In the, you know when they go on the bottom right? Uh, what's what there? That bottom left corner? If you hit uh, where the mute is, hit the uh, arrow up. And sometimes all that yeah. gets all wonky. It could be searching for something that you're not uh, on or a cold setting. It's okay. I'm cleaning up cords while we wait for you anyway, so don't we'll sweat it. Oh, brought in the techie. Anyway, yeah. So I, I, um, we, we bought. So it's, so, it's showing, a, it's showing a, a mute sign now. Now, now you're on mute. That's that's a good thing. So now you're on mute. So you just have to click maybe... unmute now. No. No. We can read lips though. This would be the first posse. Okay, can you hear me now? Can hey, you hear me now? Hey, hey, there you hey, are. You know what it is? You awesome. brought it, you brought in the, the, the tech crew, man. That's what happens. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing, oh, amazing. Man. Don't, don't sweat it. It's you know what? I've been doing this for four years, and that's usually me. <laughs> so I felt oh. pretty good tonight. You made me feel good. So thank you. <laughs> could could you guys hear me at all before? No, no, nothing, no. nothing. Okay, no. good, good, good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It can't, it can't be any worse than the language that comes out of these two mouths. I went, I went a little sleep over it. It's true, is it? It's true. Yeah, man. we're not we're really not the, shit. Hey, not, we're, not we're really glad too. you came on. We're really glad. Oh, hell yeah, man! Thanks for having yeah. me. This is yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, it's funny. We never we never we don't um, uh, prep or anything. Yeah. But once in a while, I figure, shit, I may as well go take a look to make sure I know who the hell's coming on. So I took a peek. The uh, product looks pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Have, uh, you, you know what? It's it's a hundred year old recipe from my great grandmother in Trinidad. Yeah, I saw uh, came, that. You know what? It, it, she, it, it came down from her to my grandfather to my dad. And then uh, my dad showed me how to make it. And you know what? I'm, I'm a huge foodie. Uh, cooking has always been my passion and you know like 15 20 years ago really, people come over to the house and they'd just be like you know i need the pepper sauce like i want to make like i had a friend that would literally make a fucking pepper sauce sandwich Seriously? and man two pieces of bread pepper sauce on both pieces and just ate it and i was that's just awesome. like so in my head uh, yeah but in my head i was just like you're fucked like that's crazy like so i but, i used your stuff on so we had it with we had it with you know your normal um tostitos or you know whatever you know but then there was enough of this stuff my mom makes an indonesian curry but then she dials it back for Ooh. you know kind of the base um kids in the family that can't eat spice and yep. uh my daughter and i were putting scotch bonnet in it to dial it up a couple of notches uh right. and then and then i had it in sandwiches i seriously i, I like so so i bought i think from neil at the show i bought four jars two scotch bonnets and two of the regular you know kind of you know my wife my wife literally took one bite of the scotch bonnet and then gave me the rest because she's like i can't can't do it 
and we finished the other two and the other two jars we're slowly making our way through it but the scotch bonnet is the stuff man that's is like, it shelf stable that's oh yeah it's, it's very shelf stable so why did they make it to the west stuff uh, though like what what happened to canada nah, nah. who cares about the west because well, I do because I went online. Uh, we, don't, we don't care. I, I, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> You're just in Ontario. What the hell am I going to do? Feels with that? like. Well, wait a second. Just a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> it's food. You know, I'm it's, like uh, we love food yo, too. You know, yo, we love cooking. Yeah, man, you know what, dude? I I, I know it's going to blow up in the West. Like once B, once this shit hits BC, yeah. I know it's going to blow. Yeah, it's going to go. It's gonna take them out. It's gonna take a little bit of time, obviously. You know, a new product uh, getting out there. It's gonna take time, but it when it does, it's gonna blow up because you know it's cauliflower based. There's no sugar. It's low sodium. Like like people. Are okay, you got to you got to tell us. You got to tell us a story. Phil so, would so, introduce you. But you okay, so, like so let me. Up. Yeah, I'll, see, I'll introduce you, and then I'll tell him how I met you. You, and then we'll, we'll let we'll let you go. So, um, cool. so for the audience, we've got Neil Sadler. Sadler, yeah, Neil Sadler, and he. Um, I met him at uh, kind of like this, you know, almost like a <clears throat> one of a kind show. But he uh, he was running Neil's Real Deal, and um, it's this wonderful little sauce um he's got when when i met him he had he had kind of four sauces on um and what's really funny is we we were there because my daughter was helping uh one of my wife's friends uh with uh, her booth but they're both uh trinidadian and um and so um ainsley the the husband said to me you got to go there go see neil ainsley. Ainsley. Ainsley, right? And Ainsley said, <laughs> you got to go see a Neil. Very, very good and, man. He, and you said, and he said, and he he showed me, he was like, he, he put all these jars and he was like, you go see Neil and you tell him that the Trini sent you. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. You're right. Cause, cause he had this awesome you know song. I was like, ah, yeah. you know, is it good? And he's like, listen, listen. And I was like, okay, all right, you got it. You got it. So I went, and uh yeah and and uh, neil had this this just wicked wicked sauce so um so that's how i met neil and i told him right away like kenny's gonna love you we're gonna love you oh, yeah, you should come on food. the show and then we'll talk about it so um so you've now met neil sadler we'll, we'll kind of like um we'll, we'll kind of turn it over to you neil um and kind of let you so we're, we're unscripted obviously We'd love to learn a little bit more about you because I, I know nothing about you. I just know you make wicked sauce that I want to keep in my house all the time. Um, that I it'll never make it to Kenny's house. Like I had a I had a Scotch bonnet that I was like, oh, you know, I, I'll bring some out because uh, I see Kenny in a couple of weeks in the West Coast, and oh, okay. it just didn't make it. You know, like <laughs> I ate it all. <laughs> hey, wow. It's not gonna make it. So all you know. I'm gonna say is wow. Anyway. I share my um, mom's cookies. I send them by a mail, <laughs> and I can't get a freaking jar of sauce. Get cheap so, so Neil, welcome to the show. Uh, we'd we'd love to, you know, if you kind of want to tell us what you want to tell us about you, it'd be amazing. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Yeah, first off, Kenny, I'll send you some jars. You can get a taste. You can uh, you can spread the word out there, boy. You better believe it. I'm loving you already. Not the other one anymore, but oh. you're on my side. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? Well, I feel no shame. Man. Share. I feel no shame. I know you don't care. That's the worst part. I, I feel no shame. I'm, I actually I'm, thought I'm, you gave uh... a shit. I'd, I'd be happier. You don't care. Oh, no. Your mom. Yeah, you want, you're eating all this. I you don't want to care. Sauce, but ah, anyway. whatever. All right. So, it, yeah, it's shit, man. <laughs> I've always. I'll, I'll start. I'll start back. I'll start way, way back. Okay. Uh, you know. My, you know. So, actually, I'll start way, way, way the fuck back. Yeah. So, great. So. The story goes, uh, you know, Granny used to smuggle up Scotch bonnet peppers in jars of vinegar for my grandfather, because back in the day you couldn't get Scotch bonnets up here, right? And so uh, my grandfather moved here. I think he was about thirty-five. He had two uh, two of my uncles, I think, and then uh, they came to Canada. Had a few others, uh, which one being my father. And, uh, and so granny would smuggle peppers up, 
grandpa would make the pepper sauce and it's just something that we lived off right and uh my dad started making it as we grew up. It was something that was, just, it was a condiment in the fridge. It was the pepper sauce. It was the yellow pepper sauce. It was dad's pepper sauce, grandpa's pepper sauce, whatever you want to call it. You know, um, it was just there always. And anybody that would come over would eat it. They would put it on their food. They would just, you know, indulge. It was just, it was something that was just different. Um, me being a foodie, um, you know, uh, cooking all my life, I knew it was a product. Um, and I told my dad, you know, we got to search on this shit because this, like, there's nothing like it. And, you know, it just was a thought, funny thought at the time I was young and whatever. Um, we moved on and, uh, you know, fast track probably eight years. Uh, me and Brooke started jarring it, um, my wife, and uh, we started jarring it and uh, started doing a really a farmer's market, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, little markets here and there mm -hmm. took off and, um, we knew we had a product COVID hit. And so we're just like, shit, we got to rethink this. And, uh, so we got legit labels. Uh, we got a great brand and we started getting the stores. Um, you know, I'm a heavy equipment operator. Uh, I quit my gig doing that and, uh, started going full time on this and, we just, uh, I just, I hit the pavement every single day, man. Every single day. And our samples, going into new stores, you know, I don't, I'm the type of person, you know, like, I don't care who you are. I Like, if you're a janitor or if you're a CEO, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to say what I'm going to treat you the exact same way. You know, like, it's just, you're, you're a person, you're, you know, you're just doing your thing. So I had no problem. I walk into the store saying, Hey, is the manager here? Is, is the owner here? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Like, I, I'd love to speak to someone, give them some samples, um, you know, and then, and that's, and it just kind of flowed. And uh, we got ourselves in over 220 stores now. Um, and that's, you know, in about a year, year and a little bit now. And um, we're just pumping it, man. And we're, you know what, the biggest thing for us, you know, is it's quality over quantity. So like, that's where a lot of these, a lot of these other, you know, I, I love hot sauce. I live off hot sauce. So like, I'm not going to ever put any other hot sauce down. I love them all. They're all doing their thing. You know, um, you know, some of them have, you know, a little bit less quality ingredients right, and things. Sure. So it's easier to, you know, to make it in a bigger scale. Um, you know, we looked into co-packing and, you know, uh it might not be our gig just because we're very uh you know we got a lot of quality ingredients a lot of fresh ingredients um so uh so so let's let's tell them what that you so you have what is you do neil's real deal right right and and so you the these are i've kind of called them all sorts of but they're really sauces right like you can kind of use them it's a you know it's a hot yeah. and this is, and this is you know it's a hot pepper sauce and so in the islands, you know, like you eat it with every single thing that you eat, whether it's, you know, your eggs in the morning, your curry, your stew, your pasta, your soup, whatever, whatever you're eating, you throw it in there, right? And so on it on eggs is oh bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I made them eggs. <laughs> like I made eggs <laughs> huevos and then I, Yo, I dropped you know the, the scotch bonnet sauce on it. Like, you know what I'll tell you. So, like, yeah. uh, it's 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 Neil's real deal. But yeah. my wife uh, Brooke is the other half of this, and you know, I, you know, I I I'd be nowhere obviously without her because yeah. she's she does a whole was, ton. Was of she it. the one at the show with you? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah she, was. she was. She was. She was. Yeah, right. Amazing. And so a little trick yeah. she does in the mornings: she makes an omelet, mushrooms, onions, smoked cheddar cheese. And then spread the chipotle pepper sauce all over it. And bro, I, I'm like, yeah, smoke on it's smoke. A game, it's, man, it's a game changer. Oh. It's a game changer. And that's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of people don't like chipotle because it's just it's too heavy in the smoke. It's just too, you know, yeah. it's just that. It's just, it's it's I don't know. It's too fake. And so ours, you know, ours is everything is real. You know, the smoke that you taste is the smoke. Uh, paprika it's just a little bit of ancho peppers you know nice. there's no there's no liquid smoke or any of that crap 
you know it's so it's, nice. it's a little bit light it's a little bit lighter so it's, it's, so it's not, not a heavy smoke taste just that nice you know when you taste and you're thinking ah oh, that's that's nice i don't want to exactly. i don't want to drink i don't want to eat smoke smoke exactly right exactly. Oh, yeah, cool and you're and the sauce is a little bit different right like i because i know the the scotch bonnet i keep talking about that neil actually has like four <clears throat> Sauces, four flavors right? right but but the one i'm i'm clearly obsessed about is like the scotch bonnet tell. but me um too, but it too. has the but it's different right because it's it's cauliflower based as well right like it's not yeah. a like it's not a normal like it sorry i don't i don't mean to offend like it's not like a tostitos or like a salsa or any of any of that so kind not of a crap, tomato right? base like, like that so yeah what, there's none so of that in it it's, what do you mean by cauliflower base yeah, so yeah, yeah. describe this so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like whack, this it's thing open, man, because right? I, I think our, our audience will love this. So exactly, yeah. exactly. Let me, let me describe this real quick because you know what? It's something that's different. It's not it's not a salsa. It's not a it's not a liquidy, salty hot sauce. You know, it's it's different. It's its own thing, and that's where that's where I feel like it's going to become something because you know we're different than others. You know, and so the, it's a hundred year old recipe from great granny it's cauliflower based all it is is vegetables and the what preserves it is the vinegar you know we throw a little bit of mustard a little bit of salt and just it's the it's a combination of everything which brings it out and uh there's there's nothing like it so is and it a spread because of, yeah because it because of that you know it's you know it's not your regular hot sauce it's a little bit thicker, so you can use right. it as a spread, as an ingredient. You can use it as a base or as a, as a rub. Exactly. exactly. Use it as a rub I'm thinking more like what, what the islands would do. Like I'm thinking yeah. like, you know, on fish or on chicken, like is it ah, that type dude, of thing? Or on yeah, fried chicken, yeah. oh, a nice fried yeah. chicken sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Just, exactly. You know, these, I've and tried all these that. things already. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a little bit thicker, exactly. Yeah. Because it's a little bit yeah. thicker, you can rub it on the bun, right, and just let it. It's yeah. oh, oh my god. And so, so here's the funny thing, right? Like, it took me a while to get my head around this, right? Because it's jarred, it's jarred like a. Um, the first thing that, like, the similarity is because it looks like a jar jam, or it looks like a salsa jar. Like, right. I think for the uneducated, it looks like a salsa jar. So you kind of go. Well, I gotta eat this with tostitos, and then you realize like this thing is wasted on you know nachos and things like that. Unless you're doing like what Neil's talking about is like ten xing you know your your meals, right? And so this thing, in a way, is almost like the island mayo. Do you, like do you know what I mean? Like like it is it it's an, it's not that thing. Like it's it's literally the thing that you take to like light everything else you're you're making on fire um, exactly exactly yeah. exactly but it but it takes your it takes it takes a little bit of getting used to because when when we first got we literally we were eating it just you know straight up with nachos and then and then it was like no no, no. like it no, seems like it, such a waste because there's so many flavors in here and then um i started with eggs and then i realized hey this thing's wicked on eggs and then it was wicked in the curry because it's so i'm all over proteins new... i'm thinking i'm, I'm, t- I'm trying to yeah, picture yeah, yeah. i don't know what you guys what it is so i'm kind of thinking like i can see like a flank steak or yeah. a chicken breast and yeah. either on the grill or in the pan and yeah. i'm thinking and, and see this is where it's cool exactly right like so yeah. you that's where man it's so versatile it's like you can you can throw it in a pasta or a curry and mix it into something or you can marinate a flank stank and fry it in that and just let it cook in that like or chicken and just let it marinate and then cook in that like it's it's such a versatile sauce that like it, it's literally it's literally endless and that's where then that's where like man i'm a little biased because i i the scotch bone i live off but like you 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 can do anything with this sauce and that's the thing yeah. most hot sauce i love hot sauces but like most hot sauces overpower your food or they're too salty or they burn the shit out of you yeah this, this stuff is it's very it's very just it's unique you know it just kind okay. of like blends in it enhances your flavors that's already going on brings a little bit more flavor and then brings the heat it doesn't overpower anything so, like, if you're trying to get an Asian meal, if you're trying to get that Asian sense, you know, yeah. you drop a bomb of this in there, you're going to get that stale Asian sense. You're going to get that soy. You're going to get that ginger. 
you're gonna but you're gonna get that heat too right you drop so yeah. you drop sriracha in there all you're gonna taste is sriracha which is why and I don't, don't usually wrong, use don't a lot of those wrong. things. I love sriracha. So do I, and the right things. But I, it's you know what? It's, it's a difficult thing. Is so the consistency looks a little bit like a tapenade kind of idea. Yeah, so yeah it's, yeah. it's yeah, thick, almost, a little almost, runny, yeah, but not yeah. not not runny, yeah. runny, and not thick, thick. But it's yeah, sort of that right. area. But right. I, that all I can see, I can't get, I can't get basting or a, a, a protein. Like I mean, when I see it, especially when Phil just showed me, I think, oh man, this thing looks, this thing looks like really, really good, like in. Yeah, yeah no, I wish you, had a, really you know what? I, I wish you had a jar with you, man. While Shit, we were too. doing this, me I too. I, you know what? Fuck, I would have sent you a jar. Well, yeah, you would have. I know fault. it's the other one. It's the you it know is what my the hell. Fault. Neil, I apologize. Well, but well, I, come on, man. I, 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 I come on, man. Get your shit together. Jeez. <laughs> you know, for food. <laughs> you know, I don't know hey, why you do that. I can get two twelve on a plane, right? Two twelve ml. I can get that on a plane. Right, whatever you want. You just tell him you're Phil Chang. You better oh, bring me some hot sauce. Come on, take it. <laughs> yeah, pepper sauce going to Vancouver, man. Just tell him who you are. Yeah. Man. I got a um, delivery. No, but it's, it really is. It's it's wicked sauce, I guess. I guess the um, – so let's let's go back a little. So so you guys – so this is a family recipe, and then – Is it made at really... home? Sorry, guys. I'm just – Yeah. No, that's yeah. okay. Do your thing. I literally fucking – Spilt my drink, so I'm kind of cleaning oh, no. up in the middle okay? of everything. Oh, good. everything's good. I just we can talk to ourselves for a second if you want. To get yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Get get yourself settled. Don't, don't, don't worry. Like you know, like the thing with this is, um, like I I feel like Asians and Europeans because we do have these right. Like Koreans well, we, I mean, have we, lots we of use, like we, we have, have lots we have of red like, pepper sauces in Italy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We yeah, have yeah. like uh, La Bomba, and we got like the, you know those type yeah, of yeah, yeah. Type and then of and then you know all the Asian like the, the curries, have all, all, the satay sauces, you know all of that are kind of Thai, like Thai, Thai, Thai curries. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like here in the regular market, like do I? I guess I'm curious about that is whether you run it like for the people who are listening. Like these come in 212 ml, so they literally, they look almost like um, there'll be pictures on on the podcast. But um, if you go to Neil's Real Deal, you'll see it. They they look like jam jars almost. Actually, they're about the same size of a jam jar, like a 250 ml. Yeah, yeah, flat, yeah, yeah. flat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to yeah. know? You want to know something? Eh? Yeah. Look at most hot sauces. They're fucking 148 or 175. Yeah. Hmm. They're not as much, and hmm. they're charging just as much or more. Yeah. So what's the yeah, retail? Yeah. So like two twelve, and you know what? Yeah. You know, one you want to know something? We're yeah. actually probably about two twenty five because our jar is measured to the neck, and we oh, we right. fill it above the neck because yeah. it's got to be above where the lid. You know, yeah. it's got to yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah. It can't look yeah. fucking empty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but. I- <laughs> so I love your passion. Where I was going, awesome, I, I just meant oh. I just meant that, like, like in a in a Caucasian market, I don't know yeah. if they're used to sauces, right? Like, I, I don't know what do you know I what think I mean. It, like, yeah, like, like I think the Asian market, thing is starting to come, but yeah, but it's all it's not even Asian though. It's a lot of still Kikoman and you know the stuff people are just yeah, people but, are just, all, but at yeah, least they're you know, getting like soya, they're trying soya is like great big things. jars or whatever but, right. but like to buy like a um a sauce that's you're almost like so multi no. that yeah. someone may not know what to do with it does that make sense i i don't know if that's a thing right but i, I actually I wonder know. that um, and, that, and that's a thing right and that's you know what and that's where we've started and that's where We've only been doing it for a year, yeah. and I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm I won't yeah. stop. I will not stop until this shit is. You shouldn't. Please maybe don't. Maybe global. Maybe wait, wait. Global, if you're but... quitting though, just let me know, and I'll I'll buy whatever you have. I'll never before quit before you quit. Okay, don't quit. I'll never quit. I'm good. I'm good, man. So where do you make this now? So <laughs> the re- I, yeah, so forgot it. <laughs> so the recipe goes back to great grandma and all that stuff. And now you're yeah. making it. So you're making it or the what Brooks making it? No, no. So okay, yeah. So um so the original recipe is the scotch bonnet. That is the that's, original. That's that's the skew. That would be the one yeah. thing that you had to have. That's what grandma made. 100%. 100%. Okay. That is that is the original recipe. Okay. That's what we that's what we started with. Right. And then, and then we made, uh, and then we started with the jalapeno. I, I made the jalapeno 
because, uh, you know, Scotch bonnet's pretty fucking hot for some people. For most people, so, it's a little on the hot side, for sure. Right? So, yeah. so we toned it down. So we toned it yeah. down. We made jalapeno. And then we rolled with that. And then, you know, then I made the chipotle. You know, smoky, sense, for sure. smoky, nice. You know, it's got the great flavor. It's got some earthy nice tones. Heat. It's beautiful. Yeah. It, it's yeah. It it, yeah. it is. It's just it's beautiful. Yeah. It really and is. So, and so then and then we all right. And then we had our three. And then we were good, right? All right, sick. We got our line of three. And then people told us that Scotch bonnet could be hotter. And I was like, fuck. I was like, okay. Well, like you know, all right. If that's what you guys want, we'll give it to you. But like for me, like Scotch bonnet is the perfect heat. It's the perfect flavor. I don't need more, but whatever. I'll give you more heat. So we made the Reaper. And we pumped a bunch of Reapers into that, a bunch of Jesus. ghost peppers into it. That's but good. It's you got it, it's still good. It's yeah. still good. It's still awesome flavor. And you gotta have flavor. You have to have flavor over heat no matter what. You put too much peppers in there. You're going to burn everything yeah. and it's, well, you lose it all. Right. I was going to say like, it, it doesn't feel like cause sometimes you get, you get kind of these, uh, you know, inferno type sauces and, and they, you can tell like the sauce is trying to kill you. Right. Like, exactly, just, man. you know, yeah. and then you don't taste anything. You just, you can, you can just feel like it's, it's seeking you out trying to murder you. Right. Well, see, but, I, I like but, the heat in the house. You know, right. My wife doesn't like it. Yeah. The kids don't really like it. And they laugh. They say, you know, cause I'm usually, I'm not yeah. suffering. They don't realize. Yeah. Like to heat when I'm suffering from heat, I'm not enjoying it because yeah. that means all it's done is I've got heat and I got nothing else. Yeah, yeah. You're I like you know you know that addic you know, the addictive one. You know when you take yeah. that bite and it's piping, right? But you can still taste yeah. everything. Yeah. And now it's like a like it's you're like a junkie, man. You just cannot stop. So the, like you got to keep really shoveling. Good. You're dying, the, but you just keep going because you can yeah. taste everything. Right? You're sweating. That's the reaper. You're feeling it. You're hey, like that. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys want to be my dad? Yeah. Yeah. Put him on. You want Is he old? Whoever you want. Hey, yeah. Dad. <laughs> put him on. <laughs> Listen, Mark, yeah, while awesome. your dad, while you dad. Where's my fucking meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, come in here. Uh, that's L awesome. Listen, while, you, while your dad's coming down, tell us about you. So, do you have, like, because you came up with new formulations or kind of new recipes. Yeah, yeah. Did, well, exactly. Do you have right? cooking in your background, or do you? Have, were you a yeah. chef at one time, yeah, or did man. you just start yeah, your home yeah. chef? No, hundred percent, man. I um, I took uh, I took courses. Okay. Um, it's you know it's it's a hundred percent, man. My okay. my my true passion, my true yeah. Uh, I you know like I don't know, man. Some people are just like yeah. some people vibe with certain things, right? Like cooking is my thing, man. You, you, you know what? Kitchen. Eating is you our thing. Me. So if you oh, want to keep cooking, we, 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 we happily you know eat. We love Bro. cooking and we love eating. Seriously, Bro. man. I'm honestly, Seriously, me, both of us are. Buddy, are, we, I judge holidays. Right I could go there. see the pyramids or whatever you want. If, no, if the food's it, a shit, yeah, I couldn't give a fine fuck shit. about the pyramids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the food's good, everything else is elevated. And I want my food. You know what? I've always, man, I've always said that, eh? And and I've worked for many restaurants. I've ran many restaurants. And you know what? Actually, I ran a fucking bar where where people, they they knew. I was in the back of the kitchen without even fucking knowing I was in the back of the kitchen See, because that's, they, knew the, that's, that's they cool. knew the quality of the food, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the thing. And that, that's and how I you heard, do it. I heard that, I heard that many fucking times. Many how times. How good is that, eh? That's awesome. That's amazing. It feels, oh, you know, it's 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 a good feeling, and and that's yeah. where I love cooking. I love cooking for people. That is my passion, man. I love awesome. cooking for people. Okay, give it. Go back to the, the other part. So, who's making this stuff? Where are you making it? In the kitchen, the base of the garage. We what you got going on? So we make so so me, my wife, and her two parents. Yeah, we go we go in to the the commercial kitchen of Brantford. Yeah. Um. Whenever we got to, we Where's go in for about four. To, where we, are you? Where's Bradford? Uh, it's west of west Bradford, of Toronto. Uh, it's west of Hamilton, south okay, of Cambridge. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Four hundred three runs right through it. Okay. Pretty out there. He's it's he's the, in Vancouver, so so, so Kenny it's, doesn't. It's, it's a telephone. It's a telephone city. Yeah. There's okay. Some 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 shit. Yeah, yeah. It, Kenny's yeah. from Vancouver, so he. Uh, you got to excuse it, right? Yeah. Kenny. It, it's kind of like the interior. Kind of. Kenny, Surrey. don't worry. It's a little bit like Kenny, Surrey, but Kenny, farther. once this sauce, once this sauce comes out there, all anybody's gonna ever talk about is Neil's real deal. Because once what, we come what? out the bar, once we come out the barbecue sauce, eh? Okay, then you're stuck. Oh, 
then you're Man. West Coast solo. Man. Um, okay, for a bit, slow it down, you, slow it down. Box of everything, though. Go back to the cooking. You guys are getting one, you're getting me hungry. <laughs> Two, wait. I want to get. Let's get some linear well, yeah, yeah. progression so, on the so story. We, we, do, we want to get some color it? in here, so so people know who Neil's. You're making Neil me hungry. Is what and, you're doing? This whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? Give me the story now. You're in Brantford. You're in a commercial kitchen. The yeah. four of you cooking away. Then what? You bottling yourself? Man. What are you yes, doing? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, every, every single thing we do is done by us. Me, my wife, wow. her two parents. When we go into the kitchen, we go in for about four, four and a half hours. Okay. We go, we prep, we, well, I go, well, let, let, you know what? Let me back up. I start at five in the morning. I wake up. I go down to the Ontario food terminal. I get everything we need. I get all the vegetables, everything yeah. that we need. I bring them back, you know. Uh, we do a little bit of prep, then we go to the kitchen, do a little bit more prep, and then uh, cook her down. We jar it, we bring it home, and then me and Brooke will eventually, once once they've cooled, once they've sealed, uh, we'll label them. You're hand labeling we'll, too? Hand labeling, buddy. Oh, Everything's man. done by fucking hand right now. Holy moly. And I know, man. And you're in 200 know. some stores. Like, how do you manage that? We do it. We do, we do it. You we sleep? get it done, man. So we do it. Like on and the stores the thing, you know, too. And, that, and, that, and that's where, you know, being on, being on this podcast, getting exposure. And that's the thing, right? Is like most people start this type of thing. You know, they do two, three years in markets and tastings and all that shit. We tried doing that, but then COVID hit and we had to rethink things. Right. So we got in stores, mm -hmm. we got in stores, we got in stores. So now we're in all your stores you know, it's moving, but now I'm going to focus on getting it in your mouth and really, you know, getting the flavor out there, getting people talking about it. Um, so that's sort of what my next question was going to be. So you, you're getting, I'm still trying to back this up. So, because you got a lot of hand stuff going on here. So one, it's difficult to scale. If you ever wanted to, and you don't have to, you can do whatever you want, right? No issues. And I understand, I get the quality thing. You'd almost have to probably buy your own kitchen and own packaging so that you or Brooke or the folks are there. So nobody goes off, you know, off track and does something stupid. Like you want to control it, but that's what you're doing now is very difficult. That's a long, that's a, that's, that's a lot of work. eh? What we, do, work. What, we, what, what we do now, we can control it and we can control right. it on a certain amount. Right. If we're doing it, we can control it on, if we do it every two weeks, we can keep that going. Right. Obviously her parents aren't going to be able to keep it going forever. Right. Uh, you know, so yeah, we're we're I'm already planning down the road, but for the next for the next year, I'd say we'd probably be okay doing it by hand. Um, but and, again, and on the distribution that, part, then yeah. sorry, uh, no, no, I'm I'm going like, right there. So, like on yeah, the so yeah, how yeah, are you? Going. So for, right now, you're in 220 stores. In in a in I know it's you're not like you have some radius. Like you're as far as London. It looked like you're down Niagara in the lake. Like you got you got some spread. How are you getting into these locations? Okay, well then you're not you're not in Toronto. Anymore. Like you're you're outside. No, so no, how, he's, like how, he's he's in a lot of places. I mean, yeah, you know, that's my Stratford, point. So how are you getting it there? Are you, are you using a distributor? Yeah. Are you selling direct to store? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Like how are you doing this? Man, every single store that we have, I've gone to, I've given them samples, I've spoke to. Um, so that's the sale part up front. You're you're the guy I'm going to know. Yeah. And I'm going to buy from you because I like you. Yeah. And then if I want to reorder, you know, that's, how am something, I doing? That's, that's something we thrive off too, you know, because I've heard, I, I've actually, I've actually dealt with a couple companies um, that deal with other hot sauce companies that only deal through distributions. And, you know, they don't like them because, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, in my opinion, I'm a personable person. I like to meet people. I like to mm -hmm. talk to people. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going to sell my sauce, I want to talk to you. I want to tell you about my sauce. I want to tell you what's going on with it. I want you to be able to push it, you know? And so that's where I, I we work with distribution companies um, and I will push comp people towards that. But at the beginning, I, I'd love to build a I good relationship. I think at the beginning, you almost have to, because you know what? If I saw, yeah. if I saw the jar on the shelf, as a pepper sauce. First off, I may not even know what it is. Cause again, because the yeah. jar is a little different. And I'd be thinking hot sauce and I know what a hot sauce looks like. And I'd be looking like, what am I going to do with this thing? Do I, do I, is it like this, like shaking it on? Am I spooning it on? Like, is it part of the meal after? Do I put it on the front end of the meal? Like, what do I do this thing? 
that'd be where my mind would go because I'd be looking at it exactly, and I'm not sure what exactly. it is. Exactly, exactly, and that's what you know. What uh, honestly, Kenny, it's 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 been something that I've 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 played back and forth for a long time. Did I put it in the right jar? Did I put, you know, should I put it in a fucking bottle where people can pour it out? But you know what? Everyone puts it in a bottle that you can pour it out. Majority of them are red hot sauces, you know? This shit is different in every single way. Which is okay to be different then. Yeah. It's, I'm a just texture, trying to figure- it's a cauliflower. It's in a jar. You got to open it up. You got to put it on with your spoon. You know, you got to spread it. It's different, you know, and so that's but how would I know okay. that? I think yeah. that's awesome, and I but, but I, I don't I'm care. There with I'd you rather too, be so I'm, I'm I'm not sure. Like so, I I do think like if you're in, uh, like I I mean so, for context and color, right? Like so, I'm looking at the stores that you have. Like he mm-hmm. he's got like some seriously boutique stores on here. He's got, right? I, like, I looked at the like list. The stores the, list is beautiful. It's a good the list summer hill. Oh, the oh, summer oh, hill oh, markets oh, are just. Oh, Who's you know. Terry? Who's Terry's is about to run us in all five stores. Well, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. I was looking for Pusa Terry's. Yeah, the yeah. first thing I looked for, I thought, yeah. okay, I wonder if because you, you have some beautiful stores. Like, yeah. it's no garbage stores. They're they're obviously specialty yeah. boutiquey, like yeah. good good stores. No, good no, customers. they're great stores. Like, the right yeah. the right sure. place for you. Yeah, for sure, what's, man. What's your what do you what do you um what do you what do you see out of this brand? Yeah, like, too, wh- like, where do you want to go? Where does it with go? This? I want to be the biggest brand that ever came out of Canada. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, wait, what does that mean? The biggest, like, so you want to sell the most or you want to be like the most famous, the most recognized. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause, cause you can make, because if you go across the country and you find guys like this, the summer Hills, the Pusateries, you know, right across the country, all over. like you, you, you know, you, you could, you maybe double this list, right? You get to like 500 stores, yeah. but these are, this is a prestigious list, right? Like this is not, you know, like people in these stores will understand your sauce and they'll understand why they got to buy it. Um, yeah. Or if you want to be like Frank's. Frank's, Frank's Red Hot, right? Or Tabasco or Sriracha. Ooh. And you could so, be like a two ninety nine so- bottle Across the country, I mean, you could sell it by the ton. So you know what I mean? Like, so what's like, biggest what, what to you? Is, like, what is what is it? big to you? Yeah. So Frank's and and Tabasco, those guys, you know, it, they're it's liquid, it's powder, it's liquid, yeah. it's, it's yep. nothing, right? We're we're legit. So I want to go as big as that it can take me. And I know that it can take me across Canada. I know we can do the States. And, you know, I know it'll be flying Europe. And that's where I just, I, I want to make, that's the thing is Neil's real deal. You know, right now it's Neil's real deal pepper sauce, yeah. you know, and pepper sauce, it's, it's dope. It's, it's yeah. you know, we got four lines out. We got, we got a fifth one coming in yeah. the spring, a pineapple ghost. We got barbecue that, sauce coming oh in the spring. Oh my barbecue season already. The pineapple. Yeah, oh, hey, like- hey. You tried it. Goals, did you, did you try I tried it? it. You tried I tried it. Right? it. Oh, I, I think Brooke was ready to cut me off. I think that's what you, happened. You, you tried I, the barbecue. I was there a long time. <laughs> you tried the barbecue too? No, I did. I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. But so wait, wait. So, so can can we go back? Like, because um, do you see yourself in these sort of stores, or do you see yourself in like a Loblaws or a Sobeys? I would like I would like to eventually see our product uh, in a lot of us or so. I'd like to see it spread across Canada. I'd like to spe- see it spread across North America. I'd like Neil's Real Deal to be a brand, you know. But I will never uh, I will never f- never f- um, flop on quality. Quality is always our one hundred percent goal. We will have the best quality always. If we can't, we yeah. won't make it. Yeah. But what our goal is, you know, in the next year, we're going to come out with a pepper sauce and a barbecue sauce. The following year, I've got a banging jerk that we're going to come out with that we might even come out with earlier, but I don't know. And then because Canada, you know, is Canada and, and people like things easy, we're going to come out with a line of hot sauces that's, you know, liquefied, squeeze bottle, easy. Um, and so... 
down the road, that's what our, our our thoughts are. And you know, I've got I've got a lot of I've got a lot of pepper sauce. I've got a lot of hot sauces already made, tested and approved in our back pocket. Um, you know, it's what I do, man. Uh, I, I I don't know. Yeah. It's what I do. I love making hot sauce. I love making sauce. I, I love making it out of good quality ingredients. Uh, Dude, I'll yeah, tell you what I would have loved when I hit the web page. This is just what I would have loved because I, I now I know a little bit more about it, right? I would have loved to see a couple like one minute, two minute sort of YouTube type things of you showing me what to do with a few of these. Show me how to do a cool protein. Maybe show me how to do a cool egg or a cool. Because I tell you the truth, I think that's sometimes what the challenge is. And, and it's, I'm not going to squish what your, what your dreams are because they're yours, right? I'm looking at it thinking, I love the fact you're in a jar and not in a, in a bottle or a tube. Me too. I love the fact that you could, you're sort of spoonable, not squeezable or shakeable. So to me, I'm going down the other path saying, you know what? You got a cool spot. Let the other guys do their shit. Because and, and, as soon as you put it into the other one, all I'm thinking is you're just like the other one. The problem you have right now is exactly. I don't know what the hell you are, right? So for me, the problem would be I'd go and I think because I'm so used to the to the the stupid shake bottles with all the dumbass names that I would if I knew what you were, I'd be thinking that's the guy I want to be with because I like that a little better, a little cooler. I like the fact I can spread. I got so many more options in my head of what I think I can do with it. But exactly. I would love for you to show me how to use it. Okay, and so you know we we have a marketing company that we're working with right now that is uh, doing that. They're showing ways to use it, so we're gonna have videos always running of ways to use it, and that's Pick the biggest though, like thing. Like YouTube, and, Instagram, a TikTok, yeah, like yeah, something yeah. easy peasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I need to learn how to use TikTok so it's I can start doing these do little it. videos and and doing the reels and all that all that shit. I I fuck man. Buddy, I'm the same as you. Listen, I got him. I don't. I don't know how to before do. Before we started shit. this shit, before we started this shit, I didn't have fucking social media. I didn't have any of this <laughs> crap. And I wanted to honestly, I I wanted to do I wanted to do this without Instagram, but obviously yeah. as no, I went on, like, okay, you have there's no the fucking way. Well, you I can, can do but, but it's well, hard. It's it's tough yeah, though, right? Because again, can, but it's hard. see, if I want, see, this is I guess how I look at it. It's just my personal thing. If I'm watching someone like you, and you're in the kitchen and show me how to do. Um, like I'm, I got the pineapple ghost in my head. Let's say you're putting that on a nice white fish on the grill in a pan. I don't care what you're doing with it, but I would love, if I would watch someone like you and the way you talk and your excitement, fuck, I'd buy the product because I'd be thinking, that's what I like. I get it. And that's what I got to do. I, I, I want to start making yeah. videos. I want to start making cooking videos and, and fun shit, you know, play good music, you know, have some drinks and make some good but food. But you can't do that if you're bottling and driving yeah, you, and you're you gotta... the sales guy for Ontario. <laughs> it's tough, right? It's a tough gig. <laughs> Brooks Harris gig. just got to do more. That's, you that's know what it is? You here. got it. That's right. How old are the folks? <laughs> hey? How old are the folks? Mid 60s? Late sixties. You know what? They got time. You still got at least a good ten years of work work out of them. You gotta take advantage now, man. I know. I know. I know. We, are. We're, we are. We're going. At eighty, we're gonna... they're gonna slow down a little bit. You can't I... really abuse them that much. But you gotta take advantage right now, man. I, I have one. Like your marketing guys might might kick my ass, right? I know. So that. if they do, they do. But <laughs> but here's what I would say: is like if you're for TikTok, what I would do is. The, the only thing I would film is you putting it in whatever food you're going to put it in. That's what I would film. Just like if it's like 30 fast. seconds, right? 30 seconds. Like, show me like, a little bit how you know, to do something. Like, like, I take it, you know, but... you're making eggs ah, flavo and then you're going to throw your your egg, some of the... egg one. If you just show yeah. me that frying egg come out of the pan, you doing it. Yeah. And you, whatever you're, you're, you're adding doing, a little bit of jalapeno buddy, to it or whatever. That's the one, right? Because that's the thing that makes everyone go. Oh shit! I I don't I need Tostitos do for this. I can use this for. I, I can, can use that. that for it, right? Like, and that's that's it. Like, exactly. I, I, mean, I, I I wouldn't even talk. Like, I I would literally, if I were you, I'd, no, I'd just I like be like, him. I'd no, film no, it. I'd just, no, Neil's got to talk. I love Neil. Prob- no, 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 but no, what Neil's I mean is, but, no, but what I mean is, I know you're saying, like, don't don't script out anything. Like, I would just like just be you. I'm don't making, shit, I'm man. making eggs. These are my fucking eggs. Fucking and eggs. I'm putting and this jalapenos in them. Bam, done. That's it. You know, the and then, like, do what we yeah. do in the podcast. Then the scripted shit. Like, just yeah. fucking be yeah. you. I'm putting fucking onions and fucking <laughs> mushrooms in this shit with some fucking smoked cheese. 
A little bit of real deal. Don't fuck That's around. It, man. Light it up. That's it right there. Yeah. Light it up. That's Mix it, right it up. There. Fry it. You're fucking gold. Oh my god, are you kidding me? you're making me hungry, and I just ate. Let's go. Are, are you kidding? I opened this thing. Like, fuck. I want to go get some bread and like. Like I am so hungry I, right now, and I just finished you know my mouse lasagna. You know this, I'm this, this isn't this isn't fucking fair to Kenny, man. It's not. Kenny Kenny needs it's to a have meal. a yes. jar in front of him. Meal. Yes. No, you no, know, it's you, your you know fault, what, Chang? I, I, you did I'll, this. I'll bring some here and eat some more and film it for him. Oh my! You know what? I think I think we got. I think we got. I think we got to get Kenny some sauce, and I think we got to do another podcast. You I think that, but you do. better believe it. I'm saying we're gonna do. Yeah, we're we're gonna go with you, man. I like you, and I think this product's pretty freaking cool. Because I love. I'm always looking Kenny? for those cool condiments, man. That cool thing that just kick a meal. Kenny, this product is gonna go fucking global, and I can promise you That's that, awesome. bro. I can promise you that, buddy. Uh, you got to get out of the kitchen and stop yeah, yeah, labeling yeah, yeah. and jarring your own shit because it's going to be impossible because you can't do it. Well, I, well it's too you know much. If you I gotta, be that I big gotta though, find, right? I gotta yeah. find a fucking hundred old ladies that want to come into my factory <laughs> and peel vegetables because I am not fucking doing them. it any other way. You yeah. probably could. Yeah, I know I could, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find a. I'm gonna find a bunch of old ladies that want to peel vegetables. Absolutely, then, you guys got you, a, gotta, you guys got cheap land out there. It's not, but not you gotta, you probably gotta figure out the distribution thing too. You gotta, the distribution, like, like you're the, gonna, you're gonna have to use a distributor of some yeah. kind. You just, you know what it is? You guys have, you guys have you good ones what? in Ontario. We're, you just we, gotta pick the I'm right working, one. I'm working, I'm working <laughs> with two, I'm working with two small ones okay. that run Southern Ontario. Okay, perfect. Um, we're, okay, we're looking perfect. to get into some bigger ones. Yeah. Um, you can always phone you know us what, too. It's, it's, you know what? It's just, it's just. Neil, just, you can always take advantage of the fact you know us now. Like, yeah, if yeah, he, yeah. seriously, he's a marketing, whatever the hell he is. He's not a good sharer, so I'm not happy with him tonight. But he's a marketing genius. He just doesn't share his food, apparently, or doesn't send things via mail. I don't know what the hell it's called. <laughs> but we do know people, you know, contacts. Like, we played this game. And I just yeah. think, you know what? It sounds like you got a really, a really cool a really cool product, a cool idea. And you're getting distribution. It's yeah. selling, I'm assuming, right? Like you're getting turns yeah, on man. the shelf. Yeah, no, it's it's selling, man. It's selling. Awesome. It's moving. You're making and that's money. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest bro. I man, I go to fucking markets. I fucking we went, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we went, we did we did the Christmas show. We did the Christmas cottage show. Yeah, that's like what Phil was at, right? Hey, that's what Phil was at. Yeah, that's exactly. That's what Phil was at. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so we did the Christmas cottage show. We did very well. <laughs> we killed it, you know. But that was 26 hours of us fucking being there doing our time. thing. Two weekends later, we do a fucking Grimsby market. Grimsby, like, where are you? Whatever. I, no cool I, know what town. I thought that was okay. That's a town. Okay, that's awesome. It, it, it's a town. It's a cool town. It's a sick town. And we fucking did. Almost the same sales as we did at the Christmas show in nine hours. Dude, that's a good return. Yeah, man. It's fucking crazy. This yeah. and and all it is is you know what? And you know me like okay, well, you don't know me, but you know me now. Yeah, I got a feeling for I, you. Not, I I don't sit I don't sit at my booth and just sit there and stop. You know, I'm just like, hey, yo. What up? Come try some, come try a hundred year old recipe. Come try this sauce. It's the fucking best. You're not gonna, you know. People always come and try it. One, the you, second they hear a hundred year old need, recipe, you just need Ainsley's or, or they, space. Or they hear you, from Trinidad, or they hear a hundred year old recipe from Trinidad. Trinidad awesome. And it's like, okay, I can't fucking say no. So yeah. they come back and they try it, and then yeah. and then they can't pick what two jars they want to buy. Right. It's, it's, it's true. Ainsley Ainsley had like four or five jars there because he he did what say that do? he said. Uh, so he's he's a he's a pilot. Um, and but, easily on one of the videos, man. He's yeah, a yeah, but, but but more than that, Full like because he, he said he said this stuff. It reminds me of like back home, right? Like that's, that that's was the like it was the first thing he said. He was like, it reminds me of back home. You so go there and you say right. you tell Neil that the Trini sent you, right? Like and like, how, I how think do that's I, awesome. like, yeah, that was the best. That was the best when that's, you showed up awesome. and you were just like, "Yo, the Trini sent me." <laughs> the the Trini like, guy said, "I gotta come here." Yes. Oh, well, yes. well, who am I to argue with that? He said it's like back home. Like, well, of course I'm gonna be here. Like, what? I don't give a that's shit about awesome. the rest of the show. I'm here, you know. Like, yeah, like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's no, I gotta help you scale on this one. You gotta, yeah, you gotta. 
so you're, you're making money i'm assuming right i hope like your margins are good like you're you're set for distribution and all the pitfalls of yeah man retail, you, know, retail. You, you, you know the startup of any company you know you're 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 hustling you're grinding you're not you're not making money you're just grinding uh hopefully you're making some money of course we're making money of course we're making money we're just, you know good. we're just Good. We're grinding, yeah. you know, everything, yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. That, everything yeah. that we make goes back into it. Yeah, it's, that's okay. it's about choices, that's okay. right? Like, that's, you, that's you know, in the, the early that's, days, that's it's play. all about that, right? But, it, yeah. yeah, it has to. Yeah. Um, wow. Whether it's whether it's jars, whether it's labels, whether it's produce, whether it's fucking yeah. marketing, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's always going back yeah. in. Well, hmm. listen, we, uh, we really, we're really glad. I'm really glad you came on. I'm glad I met you. I'm stoked. I think this is awesome. I'm glad I'm eating your sauces um i'm in mississauga so i actually i've been to the apple market to buy your sauce already um so yeah save it up to Corey. you yeah. want yo you want to know something funny about the about the apple, apple yeah shit. the apple market i got you the apple market. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a hot> sauce. <laughs> so the apple market uh which is located at Camilla Road and Queensway. Right. Yeah. My grandfather had a house on Camilla Road. No and way. Tiveron's, it, that place used to be yeah. called Tiveron's. Yeah. And that's where I went as a little kid. Man, I, man, I walked through there all the, all yeah, the time. It doesn't all change the time. at all. It looks exactly the same. Bro. Right? I, I don't think they changed bro, a single bro, thing. Like, I the, think the fixtures the, are from then. To the fucking cracks in the floor. <laughs> It's the exact yeah, same, yeah, man. Yeah, when yeah, I went, yeah. when I walked, when I walked through that place to bring them sauce, I got shivers, man. Right, like I yeah. got shivers. I was just like, "Holy That's shit, awesome. this is the exact yeah. same place as I walked through 20 years ago." That's fantastic. You no, know, it was wild. It was wild, That's but awesome. it's a good store. That, that is the best store. It's awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so where do where do people go we'll put all the links in the show notes um so people know where to find you and stuff where do people go to find neil's real deal like uh, uh, website and then how do they find you you know all that kind of stuff so uh obviously at neil's real deal on instagram please follow us please tag us in anything you do with our sauce we'd love to see it um www.neilsrealdeal.com is our website shop uh, shop.neilsrealdeal.com mm -hmm. you can buy the sauce we got some good deals going on right now um yeah man just uh just want to get it to you guys everywhere we can it's Amazing. something unique and something different no uh, maybe one of these days we'll talk offline the three of us i'd love to hear yeah. a little bit more and see if yeah, yeah. we can maybe help you out yeah yeah, and oh, then sure. and then as you go, like if if you need help, like we're we're here. Yeah, just, we, honestly, we love been doing this for a million love years. Love this so. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, that's wicked, man. I'm I'm yeah. I'm I'm super pumped to meet you guys. And yeah, yeah. I'm I'm totally down to talk offline, man. I awesome. I ain't, I'm not doing much. Awesome. <laughs> no, that's pretty awesome. cool, buddy. All right. Thanks, Neil. Congrats, you did. You're you're yeah. you're, you're 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 crushing it. That's yeah. good. That's really right good. on, boys. Ah. That's really good. Okay, go say hi to your pop. Yeah. We'll have something to eat, put a little hot sauce. It's what, 11 o'clock? It's perfect time for hot sauce. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, I'm going to go refill <laughs> this drink and uh, see what's going on. See what's going on in the house. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, my friend. That's amazing. All right. Thanks, Neil. Take care of yourself, right, Neil. Man. We'll chat again soon. Yeah. Phil, stay on, and you and I will yeah, clean up. Probably, and Neil, probably. take care of yourself, buddy. We'll talk soon. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Okay. You guys, it was, it was great meeting you. I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Me too. Okay. Me too. All Take right. care, man. Take care, buddy. Okay. Rock on, boys. Cheers. Ciao. <laughs> okay, Mr. Chang. What else is How going you on? <laughs> How you delete this fucking thing? <laughs> oh, you got, oh, you got to hit, uh, hit the, where, uh, the bottom, right. bottom right side. Bottom right. There's a little It'll end. Say leave or end. One of the end. Two. You're a beauty. I swear to God, I love you already. Can you cheer, no? boys? Okay, Take care, man. I thought I, I pressed fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if I can. I, don't know if you I think can, I can. Yeah, maybe I'll do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, you I'll, I'll get you up. Man. Phil, Phil Hang on one up. second. Whatever, you guys still want to talk or what? <laughs> <laughs>
I got to get you two to bed, man. I, it's only eight o'clock for me. I, it's eleven o'clock for your guys. You guys need to. You guys need to call it. No. Nah. All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove you. We'll we'll catch up with you another time. Kenny and I are gonna. Oh, there he goes. Nope, oh, you got him off. All right. That's funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. He's hilarious. Oh my god, he's like so real. He's he's very. I, real. I, you know what? No, seriously, you know, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. I would buy. I'll tell you. I'll buy if it if it was. I buy it just because of him. Yeah. I don't even care if I would ever use it. I yeah, would yeah, buy it yeah, just yeah. because of him. Yeah. The thing is, like, it's funny because I got shit the other day from the boss. Okay. Not that. Not the boss who loves our show. Not that boss. The real boss. The, the real boss. Stairs. I got it. And because we were, I don't know, we're tidying up the fridge, and there's like, yeah, you know, fucking four hundred jars of condiments, like Asian shit, European shit, like I just like everything. What are the hot sauce, hoisins, like just everything. And she goes, "Why do we have so much of this stuff?" I said, oh, "Because this is this. What else?" I'm do really you cook sorry with? because I think I added to your sauce collection too. No, what I think add? I did. Well, I I think I. When I was out there, I I have, buddy. Whatever. I, if, 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 but most of the stuff <laughs> in the fridge has been gone through, so you could have. I, I honestly, I don't even know who's bought half the stuff in there. Because you know what it's anyway, like. Please, you know what you're continue. always trying to. You're always trying to. Like, you know, pop yeah, a protein. Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. give it some some kick, right? Yeah. Or you got to. Uh, it's always for me. It's like it's a grill or the fry. Yeah. Like I, oh my god, like he's made me so hungry. Oh, like I'm, I'm tomorrow thinking, morning, I'm, thinking I'm making eggs huevos with, steak and with eggs. the sauce. Like, because I opened this thing. Like, I came out the pineapple ghost. Oh, baby. It oh, was my so God. Good. That's going to be wicked. It was so good. He was like, so I, I worked my way through all four sauces. I swear, like his his wife, I, I think she was ready to kick me off. Right? Buddy, she was like, buddy, we'll something stop else. mooching food, right? And I was just like, wow, this is, this is great, right? Like, And then he was like, ah, we're going to have this other sauce. And we would try this so he had a barbecue and then he also had the um this this pineapple sauce and both were just uh it's it's cool because he's got some good play his challenge yeah. is going to be at scale is going to be you know you can't scale the way he's doing it um no no, no. quite frankly he, i kind he, of like the way his format is i don't know if i'd want to go in the jars you're just another hot sauce i just don't know if um yeah i mean i i i can i can see some of it like if he can find the right distributor, he can get himself there's into guys that like can, there's big guys places. That can do this and, so easy, you know, it, it'd be fine, right? Like you could do food I service just, size um, if you had a yeah, kitchen. Yeah. Like you know what you do, yeah, yeah. you do you do a one liter <clears throat> size for kitchens, well, right? Now you I do mean, a partnership with restaurants. And, so easy, you know, like he's, Cisco he's or a dish, DFS. You know? Oh, you could go. And yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah. like, if he would be on Instagram or TikTok, where you could see, like, I don't know how many recipes I made off when I used to use Facebook more. You know, Facebook had those, what are those 30 second, 60 mm -hmm. second, and you didn't have to hear the music. Like it just, it just showed you what to do. It was mindless. Right. And I'm thinking yep. if I see a guy like this, I, I'm sold. That's it. But I think, I, yeah, go, and, be all yeah. over it. to me, it's like an idea starter, right? Like you, you don't even need to see the whole thing. You just need to shit, see, man. just fast forward, just show me yeah, you just need how to, to do see it. where you use it. And then exactly. that's it. Right. Like, and then I know. You know, like, and then I know what to do with it, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what if you think about it, you know, when what Frank's has done, you know, I put this shit on everything. Yeah. Okay, I get yeah. that. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Frank's, but it's not. No, no I'm not. Frank's, it's not my yeah, thing, yeah. right? I'm not, not a big fan thing. of any of the high sugar. I, I don't. Uh, those ones. They're the, not, there's nothing to them. Not, I don't I like know, the vinegary, peppery. I think it's sauces. the vinegary thing that yeah. drives me. It's too vinegary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it bothers me anyway. But I'm, I'm, I, but I do like sauces especially for cooking like oh my god like this stuff sounds like it's so grillable i don't understand the cauliflower thing though it's great it's I, I like don't a weird even, base to me though you you don't even i i think i it's, love cauliflower uh, so i don't care but i'm just i just I, i'm trying to understand how you got the cauliflower as a base i don't know we didn't get there with him i kind of wish we did but we well, didn't. next time because i'm curious because yeah. like why did you know maybe they don't use i don't know maybe tomatoes weren't in in the caribbean obviously right or you use yeah, what yeah, yeah. you use what you have yeah, yeah it just yeah. to me, I mean, it could maybe because it's an Italian thing. I don't, I, I, you know, tomatoes is so much of our base. Yeah. Right. Or, to, yeah, or a cream. True. Like it's not like, I mean, we eat cauliflower, but I would never go to cauliflower as a base for a, a, a sauce. Like, I'd, I'd be thinking, oh, it's okay, great though. Sure. Well, you well, don't sure even know. Like, I, I, he, and the, we didn't get to that either, but he could use this as a keto. You know, like it's all of those things, right? Like, you could, you could definitely use it like a keto sauce or whatever. No, it's um, cool. I, I think it's pretty cool. I really do. I think it's pretty cool. Good for him. Yeah. 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 It's cool. good for him, buddy boy. I, I can't I bring this on a plane. I can't get it to you. No, I know you can't. Right? It's 212. 
So if I, I check my bag, I could. No, nah, what do you check your bag for? And you're going to wait in the stupid line to get a, a, a mm. dumb bag. Although I am coming to pick you up, so we, it's likely you got to rush. I, I just can't. What's it retail for? I can't. I can't. Uh, like, there's a three pack for like 20 bucks. It's not bad. Just throw it in the mail. No, I'll, I'll get not, you back when you get down terrible. here. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dying know. to try it now. And I like hot sauces. Like I do. I like pepper, pepper type sauces. I, I, I do. I just, you know, it just so it kicks everything up. I like it. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. That's all I got for you. I gotta go help Amelia. Pack. He's he's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm glad he came on. I'm glad we got a, a chance to do this. Um, he's funny. I like him. Man, he's got a personality. He's cool. He's hilarious. Uh, anyway, that's it. Um, okay. You I'll tell catch. the boss I said hi. I will do that. I will and do that. Then, uh, she likes you, so you'll get a high back for sure. Um, and then I guess we'll catch up tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Ciao, okay, buddy. My friend. Take care, okay. buddy. Have a good ciao, night. Ciao. You too. Okay. Ciao, buddy. Bye.